queen means? Wow, um, it means who I am. Ooh, so, ooh, wow, that just hit me hard just now. Because that's the first time I've said it with that much conviction. I love a moment like that. Mary J. Blige has been bestowed a lot of accolades across her career, but being part of Time 100's list of the most influential people and reflecting on a term like queen really hit Mary. On Twitter, Mary said she was proud to be included and thank Nas for his words in the magazine. He wrote, she carved out a lane for herself. The industry needed someone like that. The streets wanted that. Pop culture wanted that. And she was the one for it because she wasn't made up. Zendaya thanked Dune director Denis Veneuve for his kind words in the magazine about her and posted it was a great honor and meant the world to be included. Obviously the Spider-Man premiere was like a big deal. While Spider-Man Far From Home was a massive hit this year, it's really Zendaya's influence behind the scenes on her hit show Euphoria where she is influencing Hollywood. I am a producer on the show. I'm in such a collaborative space. I can learn and I can ask questions and I can give as much input as I want to. From being a quote, child star, Zendaya has been very conscious of the image that she's putting out there. So gone are the days because of her, of a child star's career being dictated by some white guy in a boardroom. Zendaya has changed the game. And you want to talk changing the game? I've been waiting for this for a really, really long time. Most of the celebrities on Time 100's list are included in the artist section. But Zendaya and Miranda Lambert are included in the innovator section, alongside scientists who are the contributors to the first complete sequencing of the human genome. Miranda, being the only country music artist included on the list, wrote on Instagram, I'm so honored to join this year's class of Time 100. I only ever wanted to sing and write songs, and thanks to y'all, I've gotten to do that and so much more. Thank y'all for being on this journey with me. I know Miranda has been highly awarded across her career, but after finally getting the ACM Award for Entertainer of the Year in March, Miranda finally seems to be getting recognized as one of music's all-time greats 17 years after her debut. I actually never thought it would happen. I said in my tweet prior to Miranda winning the award that Miranda deserved to be recognized as Entertainer of the Year because no one in music was doing what Miranda was doing. In 2021, she did a hit collab that crossed multiple musical genres. She did a stripped down acoustic album that left it all bare and an in your face gay anthem. Miranda has been so conscious of inclusion across race, across gender, across sexuality, that not even country music fans realized what she was doing. So mamas, if your daughters grow up, it takes all kinds of kinds to be cowboys, so what? And even on a basic musical level, she just dropped her ninth studio album and once again, it's going to be one of the best albums of the year. Even Tiger Woods couldn't swing at this good, I'm acting up. Nine albums in, Miranda is still surprising us, challenging us, and bringing it musically that every single music artist should be looking to her to see how you achieve longevity. Now, speaking of longevity, also getting her due in 2022 is Jasmine Sullivan. Hi. After finally winning a Grammy, 13 nominations after her Best New Artist nomination in 2009, Jasmine thanked Time and Amber Riley for being the one who wrote the write-up on her inclusion. Kris Jenner thanked Ryan Seacrest for calling her one of the top marketing minds in history and said being included on Time's list was an incredible honor. I completely agree that she's one of the top marketing minds in history. Like you don't just have a reality show and become one of the biggest influencers in the world. Not just one, one of six. I remember several years ago, it was fascinating to watch the various Jenner and Kardashians were having their moment in the spotlight. I have no doubt it was Chris behind the scenes pulling those strings. So it's like, okay, oh, Kim's having a moment? Okay, okay, now let's bring Chloe up a little bit. Okay, now let's bring Kendall up. Okay, Courtney, let's bring her up here. Oh, Kylie's seen as the ugly duckling? Okay, let's bring her up way up here. Okay, a little bit more Kim. Okay, let's go back to Chloe. It was fascinating to watch this like, yeah, play, play out. 
And Time's list isn't about likability, it's about influence. And we know Chris has more influence than the devil based on work ethic. I mean, the truth is there have been so many moments over the last couple of years where I've been like, pinch me, I have to be dreaming. Simu Liu is also included on the list. And yeah, in 2021, Shang-Chi was a massive hit that hopefully influences Hollywood to tell more Asian stories. But being a Canadian, I am worried about how Simu is playing the Hollywood game. Uh, look to people like Jan Arden and Alessia Cara as Canadians who thought instant fame meant longevity, which it doesn't. The realization that I'm no longer, you know, a scrappy actor in Toronto trying to get his next gig. In order to achieve long lasting success, you have to back up fame with product. And that's what I'm worried about with Simu right now. I love that he has ambitious goals. I definitely like to build out a production company. But he's not gonna be able to achieve them without more foundation. Since Shang-Chi, he has yet to have another movie or TV show come out. Usually, when Hollywood recognizes that a movie is gonna be a hit with a new star, they line someone up with a bunch of products. It, we're coming up on a year, and Simu's yet to be in anything else other than hosting SNL, hosting the Juno Awards, and appearing on Selling Sunset. But that is not gonna help Simu achieve long-term success. I think right now, media outlets are using him as, unfortunately, um, the token successful Asian guy. And I get why he is capitalizing on that, but that's not gonna help him in three, four years time. Um, so I want Simu to be a long-term success story, and he's not putting in the work right now to achieve that, and that's what worries me. Like, I look to Sandra Bullock. Sandra has not maintained being the top female box office movie star for 30 years by saying, hey, I'm that girl from Speed. No, 10 months after that bus movie, she woke us up with while we were sleeping. And she's delivered ever since. So quality work maintains one's relevancy and influence. And I hope Simu uh, does that. Because yeah, I think he's a great new star. And I hope that star keeps burning bright, but it's not going to keep burning based on pop culture moments and media attention. So he's gotta start putting in the work. But yeah, what are your thoughts on the Time 100 most influential list? I know I've said a lot in terms of Miranda, Zendaya, and Simu. I wanna hear your thoughts.